Okay, just want to say part two, uh, abortion regret. Um, if you look at uh, Bad for Lashes song in God's house, that whole video, like, for me, sums up my whole spiritual experience with my abortion. Like, I had to come to terms and talk, talk to the spirit of the child. Um, later on, I became psychic and I was able to communicate with the child and just kind of square things, uh, you know. At the end of the day, it's like, I still love, you know, I still love it. You know, I still love him. It was actually a boy. Um, and I, I, you know, sometimes I talk to him in the spirit realm and it's like, we're both trying to heal because, um, sometimes like a part of your psyche, you know, some, some people don't believe in spirits, but maybe it's like true. It's like part of the, you know, yourself or it's really, you know, your, your deceased child. In any case, you're trying to heal and it's okay to like mend that and, uh, talk to, to that energy and I had to you know speak with it and let it go and um, at the same time it's always going to be with me in my heart because you know I feel even though I didn't materialize him into this existence in a physical sense he still got created you know my intentions was there to conceive like his spirit still lives on like I see his spirit is still around so it, the creation is still there like we create with more than just our bodies we create with our spirit our energy our intention our mind and um you know further further to that like this this child has been with me throughout my journey you know writing my book writing my book gave him you know full for you know fruition of power and you know like in full or so it's like he's been with me every step of the way learning so it's not like something okay, like I had this thing happen, you know, terrible and it's hard to get through it. And then that's that. No, it was a growing experience. And like, even in the spiritual realm, like we're still healing one another. And I think at the end of the day, like I've become him, he's become me, you know, like the child has learned to become the parent. I've become the child. It's like, I had to kind of re uh, connects with my inner child because I think that's what child what children symbolize really is your inner child is is parting some of your inner child away uh, to you know create yourself further because you know we don't last long in these bodies you know we die we decay and like the whole point of procreation is to, like to to leave something in yourself you know what I mean uh, kind of live on in a, in a different form and for me like this this child the spare child um, even though I, yeah, I couldn't, kind of, I couldn't bring him in the matrix. He's still, he's still within me. He's still in my heart. He's still in my awareness. He's in the spirit realm. Like I see him. Like he and I are one. And uh, I don't think that could ever change because you know it's creation is the forces of creation. They say we all come down to one source anyway. We are all a part of like a big source of creation of oneness. And everybody you see are just emanations. Like you know your neighbors uh parents everybody is just emanations of this one creation anyway so and if you think about it we're all family so i just wanted to say that um the bad for lashes song in god's house that really does like describe my pain like she's in a desert trying to find her her lost child like the spirit of her lost child i feel like you know there's a lot of confusion there and like this this world we're living in the matrix is the dream world it's a lot of confusion here it's a lot of lies lies are built into the system like people lie you know, sometimes people are not even people. People tend to get controlled by demons from within. And no one's ever who you really think they are. So it's like, all this is to, to make you trip up in sin. Sin is a program. And it's like, after a while, it's like, you know, you make this mistake. You can't, like, beat yourself over the head over because life still continues. That life still moves on. And it just, it just gets transformed in a different form. So I've been making my peace with my spirit child. And um, he knows that I love him. He knows that I can't. Like sometimes like the matrix gets in your head and like tries to make you mess up with your thoughts. But you as a mother, like you know, like like a parts of creation, like you know how you felt during that time. So this is for all the girls and, and mothers or, you know, would-be mothers out there. Like they say statistically, like women usually have like one or two abortions before they actually have like, you know, keep children because of the way the government is in the society. So statistically, you're, you probably might go down that road. I just want to say you're not going to be alone. You know, women go through this thing and it's very emotional. Take someone with you. I just wish at the time that um, I had someone older to talk with and maybe someone spiritual because maybe I would have reconsidered, you know, maybe if I had proper support, 
I don't think I would have done it. You know, like I got caught up into Maya, into the matrix, into the lies. I was very young. I was immature. And I didn't know what it meant to be like, like a real mature, you know, uh, parental figure or responsible person. Like I'm 32 now, like now from like 24, looking back, like I'm very mature in my mindset. Like it's just, it's crazy how like you evolve. And like, you know, if, if things were right, if it was my choice, like I would be a good mother. I would be able to do that. Um, and just, you know, sometimes you just have to really wait for that moment. And, it, you know, if bad things happen, it's not your fault. It's an accident. Like, I know, you know, we do things out of intention, or at least we think we do things out of intention. But we're, we're coming from a generation of programming where our parents teach us things, TV teaches us things. There's programs in our music and our books, all messing with the back of our mind, our subconscious. I mean, there's dark Illuminati, there's demons, there's the black government. Like, all this is here in the negative environment to, like, steal your goodness, especially for women. Like, I, I thoroughly believe that. There's so many forces at work, like, in my life to just make me, like, go dark or make me just have, like, um, this very low, low worth or, you know what I mean? You're, you're, to be healthy as a, as a human being, you can't have low worth. So you have to heal yourself. You have to try to raise up your low worth value into something of you know, real value because we are all valuable. We're life, you know, we're awareness, we're, we're human beings, we're life, we're spirits, we're energy, we're, we're all worthy. You know what I mean? We just make, we make mistakes because we're in the matrix. And uh, that's what I want to say. Hopefully I can remember that because, you know, if for heaven forbid, if something happens to my memory, like I want to keep that lesson in my heart. So I know like not to get tripped up um in a pregnancy like that because uh, looking back on things I, I probably wouldn't have met that guy um if i if it still happened like i would have tried to like talk to a spiritual person like someone who's older who you know who could really give me some solid advice on what i could do because I, I really would you know try to like see if i could have been a mother i mean it just seemed like it was so much against me at that time but i really would have tried because i'm like 32 now and i'm thinking like wow i could have been a mother so, you know, you, you don't think about those things when you make these decisions as, you know, when you're a young girl. So I just want to say that for all you young girls out there, um, really get a second opinion because you might regret it. Most of the time women do regret it. They don't like to talk about it, but it's very emotional. I mean, I got on psychic skills. I had to connect to the planet and Gaia, you know, the consciousness of our planet, she went through a lot. Um, so it's like connecting with the universal mother um, mothers everywhere have to deal with like some type of abortions or a loss of life or miscarriages and it was very deep for our planet because during the time of Lemuria the flood um, the you know the evil trickster gods they tricked her waters and they they covered the earths and killed all the creation and and just you know everything got lost in manipulation and and pain and suffering and confusion and our planet ever was right ever since uh, the first flood you know you, it's in the Bible too but it's the time of Lemuria like all her life was was just like drowned out like it's very emotional in the universe as creators as women to go through losing children so that's why we need to stand together and like help one another through through the levels of the heart through emotion and all the you know children out there lost children lost spirits you just know that god loves you know that creator the true god the true creator uh, mothers and fathers alike they do love you it's just we are lost in sin we are lost in these programs that affect our consciousness that affects our dna and a lot of our divinity a lot of our light is gone so we we are losing what it's like to be like true creators and true you know true gods and goddesses like our laws are completely distorting everything and this is this whole uh, reality is a lie and uh it, it just doesn't get better it's hard to break out of this type of slavery and it just keeps, it just distorts everything. And so you have more people in the future generations. They're probably going to make more mistakes. Who You know, like, I, I hope that don't, doesn't happen. But they might just make more mistakes. And it's like, yeah, there is a level of forgiveness. And, and just really trying to, like, you know, understand we are all the same. We are all of love. We are all the same being. And let's just try to rise up from this chaos and this, this, this MK Ultra programming that these dark Illuminati, these Satanists, these dark Illuminati Satanists and government officials using all kinds of mind techniques on the, the public, like the sleeping public. So just letting you know that there, there's a lot of manipulation with our minds and our free will is being distorted. And they don't want you to be good. They don't want you to live true heartedly. Um, so it's going to be very challenging to be good, good people, good mothers and fathers here. 
just good people good human beings period this is a battle for our soul it's always been about that but I just wanted to say that part two that was my abortion regret like I've learned a lot since then and I've talked to women who've had um, abortions miscarriages and it's a very traumatic time for us all and like all you can do is just have like even if you're a boy a guy like just lend your ear no judgment but just like kind of give it give it ear like women just like need sometimes someone to to talk about this stuff because it's very emotional stuff and if you're there just like you know to listen and just care about like you know really listening um you you'd be surprised how much you can heal people but just want to say that god bless and i love you all and I, I love i love my lost child but he's not lost because he's he follows me everywhere he's with me he's in my soul thank you